Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com and in this video I'm going to show you three Twitter marketing tips for business in 2017 that will help you get more engagement, get more followers, and help you grow your brand awareness for whatever type of business you have. So the first thing you want to do is you want to post your best content at the right times, meaning if you're having some kind of promotion save the promotion for the time when Twitter followers are going to be online the most. The biggest percentage of your followers are going to be online at certain times of the day, certain days of the week. So save your best content for those times. If you need to know those times, you can look up a, a um, study that combined about 20 different studies done by some of the top marketing companies and it was done by CoSchedule. CoSchedule combined those top studies into an averaged out um, period of when to post on all the best social media sites. So for instance, Twitter, you would post your best stuff on Wednesday. That tends to be the peak day for engagement. And um, if you're a business to business, type of company you perform 16 percent better during business hours usually if you're a business to consumer type company you might perform better um, by 17 percent on weekends so the best times to post on twitter typically are 12 p.m 3 p.m in between 5 and 6 p.m so wednesday around noon and 5 to 6 p.m are the peak moments during workers breaks so that's one of the reasons why people um, tend to get on Twitter at those times you'll notice that right before people go to work lunch break when people are getting off of work typically those are the best times to post your best stuff on social media just in general and Twitter is no different um, they're 180 they're 181% more likely to be on Twitter during their commute, which doesn't sound good, but is the fact. So as far as that goes, 12 p.m., 3 p.m., 5 p.m. to 6 p.m., those are the times to post your biggest promotions. The rest of the time you want to be posting value. And that brings me to the, my next point. Um, you need to post more often to get the most out of Twitter. Because, for instance, Quick Sprout, a top marketing blog by Neil Patel, uh, found that you um, typically get the vast majority of your retweets within an hour after tweeting. So that means that after an hour has gone by after you've posted a tweet at, say, 3 p.m., people are not going to see much of that tweet anymore unless it's just gone viral and people are not going to share it much anymore they're not going to engage with it much they're not going to comment as much they're not going to retweet it as much so you'll notice that top brands have started posting more often and it is recommended that you post somewhere around 15 times per day so a good suggestion would be to post maybe every couple of hours or maybe as much as every hour now some of the top brands that are on the high side of posting are around 50 times a day and top brands that are on the low side post about one or two times a day so I'll show you a few examples of um, people on Twitter that post a lot more often you'll get an idea um, Jeff Bullis is a top social media and content marketer. He's got a blog called jeffbullis.com. He has over 550,000 followers, and you'll notice that he will post very often. In fact, he posts probably two or three times per hour on average. So you'll notice that, you know, you know, within 54 minutes last hour in the last hour in the last two hours 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 in the last three hours he posts a lot and he gets a few shares per post on average so you can imagine how much that adds up 
another example entrepreneur.com if you want if you have maybe more of a corporate brand maybe you have a lot of writers maybe you're not more of a, a blogger but like you have thousands of people writing articles for you you maybe you have a magazine like entrepreneur does they post very often as well you'll notice that if you kind of go down the list you have you know a bunch of them just in the last couple of hours You'll notice that they have, you know, a ton of posts just in the last two to three hours, four hours. So it looks like they post on average probably, you know, two or three times every hour, if not more in some cases. So they're probably up towards that high number of around 50 times a day. Tony Robbins, another guy, he's more of a, you know, a brand uh, for himself as a coach, as a personal uh, trainer of the mind, I guess, or a success coach, whatever you want to call him. And you'll notice he posts a lot. He also shares a lot of tweets as well. You don't have to post just all your stuff all the time. He also does, you know, resharing and stuff like that and commenting on other people's tweets. So if you post more often, you'll get a lot more traffic. You'll get a lot more chances to get engagement because most of your engagement happens within an hour of posting. So at least post every other hour or every hour. I encourage you to experiment with that. And, you know, they have tools like Hootsuite, Buffer, Social Oomph, stuff like that to allow you to um, schedule those tweets so you don't have to get on and do it manually. And last but not least, one of the biggest things that people screw up on Twitter is they don't take advantage of news. Twitter is a huge hub of news and stuff that is trending and things like that. And you'll notice that if you go on Twitter, they always have this little trending area over here whether you have it based on, you know, your state, your country, or whatever, or in just a general trending topics type thing. Usually, you know, if you like live in the U.S., you'll have a United States trends. And you can look at what's trending right now. Like some of these you'll see every um, week, like hashtag Friday feeling. You'll see a lot of stuff like that or a lot of flashback Friday type stuff. So every Friday, you'll see something like that. So you can take advantage of that every week. Um, some of these, you know, you won't see that often. You'll see a news story, maybe about a player signing a big contract or um, some kind of funny thing where people make funny comments like why I'm still single in four words or something like that or something that somebody did that caused a big stir up. Those types of trends, you can use keywords and these hashtags to uh, get in front of more people, and you should take advantage of that. Like, hashtag Monday motivation would be a great time to post a quote that's related to your industry. You know, throwback Thursday on Thursdays, great time to put some behind the scenes stuff or some stuff like that shows the history of your company or your brand. You can also go to timeanddate.com and look up events coming up so you can get your stuff ready and get it scheduled in Hootsuite, Buffer, or whatever your social media scheduler is based on holidays and events, people's birthdays of you know famous people, maybe that were uh, pioneers in your industry or something. You can look that stuff up for your country and other places as well at timeanddate.com for your specific year and you have all kinds of events and holidays in every single month that you can use for current events news and stuff like that now the latest news is always going to be on yahoo's front page you can also check cnn you can check msnbc you can check fox news you can check um, a lot of different ones out there huffington post is another one BuzzFeed. There's a lot of different news websites that you can check all the time to see what's going on. And talking about news on Twitter does very well. It will get you more views and more engagement. And of course, if you want to find the most popular hashtags, 
you don't have to necessarily buy their package. You can see some of the top trending hashtags right here on the home page of hashtags.org. So you can do it by the uh, category, like if you're a business, you can do hashtag business, hashtag jobs, stuff like that, tech, education. You can go back to trending hashtags in general, the ones that are going down, the ones that are trending up, hashtag why not, hashtag world, stuff like that. So with those three strategies, you will easily start getting a lot more comments, a lot more retweets, a lot more followers, and a lot more traffic to your website through Twitter. So if you got something from this video, if you feel like it was helpful, please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you. Also, if you want to let me know what you thought about the video or you want to add to this, maybe your experiences on what works and what doesn't on Twitter, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I know people watching would as well. And I'll get the show notes, examples, links I mentioned, related content on one page for you at selfmadesuccess.com in the coming days. And I'll get a link in the description to that as well. So other than that, hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day. lot of different news websites that you can check all the time to see what's going on and talking about news on Twitter does very well it will get you more views and more engagement and of course if you want to find the most popular hashtag you don't have to necessarily buy their package you can see some of the top trending hashtags right here on the home page of hashtags.org so you can do it by the uh, category like if you're a business you business, hashtag jobs, stuff like that, tech, education, and you go back to trending hashtags in general, the ones that are going down, the ones that are trending up, hashtag why not, hashtag world, stuff like that. So with those three strategies, you will easily start getting a lot more comments, a lot more retweets, a lot more followers, and a lot more traffic to your website through Twitter. So if you got something from this video, if you feel like it was helpful, please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you. Also, if you want to let me know what you thought about the video or you want to add to this, maybe your experiences on what works and what doesn't on Twitter, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I know people watching would as well. And I'll get the show notes, examples, links I mentioned, related content on one page for you at selfmadesuccess.com in the coming days. And I'll get a link in the description to that. Hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day.